This video is just a quick example of break-even analysis style questions for further mathematics linear um, modelling. So in this question here, Alex owns a small cake shop. To attract more customers, he decides to start making and selling coffee in addition to his cakes. The total cost of an espresso machine, cups and spoons adds up to $7,500. In addition to this, Alex estimates the cost um, it will cost him 20 cents to make each cup of coffee. He intends to sell the coffee at $2.70 per cup. So in each of these questions, um, you're going to be given some information about costs and you're going to be given some information about revenue or sales. So you need to pick out that information so that you're able to construct your equations. So here we see we've got a cost, 7500 which is fixed, then an additional 20 cents per cup. Then we can see also here we're told that he's selling the coffee, so therefore our revenue is $2.70 per cup. So when we go to do the questions now, we can see part A asks us to state an equation that gives the total cost of making the N cups of coffee. So that's our cost information from the top. So our cost, if we say C is our cost, will be the fixed 7500 plus the additional $0.20 cents per cup, so 0.2 per cup n. For part b we're then asked to state an equation for our revenue of selling n cups of coffee. So again from the information above we've got a revenue, so r, of $2.70 per cup, so 2.7 n. Part c then asks us to find the break-even point for Alex's coffee making venture. So what our break-even point is, is we're looking there, our break-even, for when our profit equals zero, or alternatively, when our cost equals our revenue. So you've got some options about how you go about solving a question like that. One option that we have is to actually graph the two equations. So if we were to graph the two, and we would use our calculator to do that, but just showing you a quick sketch here, we would have our revenue, so our R, and we would have our costs looking something like this. So we can see what we're after is this point here, the point of intersection, which is our break even or when our revenue equals cost and therefore profit is zero. So to find that point, again, we have a number of options. If you're using your calculator and you've graphed it, you can actually ask it to find the point of intersection. Um, doing it that way, if you wanted to use the calculator and to solve, what we would actually be asking it to do is to solve when revenue equation, so 2.7n, equaled our cost equation of 7,500 plus 0.2n. And we'd solve that for n. And we would find that we get an n value of $3,000. Okay, so we would have to sell 3,000 cups of coffee in order to break even. The final part of the question, part D, then asks us for what is the um, how many cups of coffee have to be sold in order to make a profit of two thousand dollars. So if we want our profit to equal two thousand, we know that our profit is given as our revenue minus our costs. So the easiest way here, we don't have to make a formula, but we can utilize our calculator, and we're wanting to solve. Uh, for when our profit is equal to $2,000, we have our revenue equation at 2.7n, take away our whole cost equation. So we need to put that in brackets so that we take sure, make sure we take away everything there. So 0.2n, close that bracket, and we want to solve for n. And when we do that, we end up with a value of n equals 3,800. So in order to make a profit of $2,000, that's telling us we need to sell 3,800 cups of coffee.